Good morning, everyone out there. How are you all doing? Oh my gosh, uh, it's, the, it's the training weekend video thing. What a, what a week it has been. Uh, weight loss has continued slightly less, only five pounds this week, but that's good. But I'm also doing a lot, of, a lot of strength training now, so I may be having one of those things where, you know, I lose five or six, seven pounds of fat and gain a pound or two of muscle. I, I'll, I'll take that. I'm feeling great. I've had a little bit, a little bit of dumping, which for post bariatric surgery is when food gets into the intestine too quickly and then can make you feel nauseous. I've had that a few times, so I don't know whether it's just routine or something I need to check, or it's probably just I'm eating the wrong sort of things. So I need to be careful there. But all is well. So I had a bit of bad news last week. My coach has, has had to suspend coaching for a while, but I've got a new coach lined up and, and that's coming up in a blog soon. I haven't met her yet, so I don't want to give too much away just in case she's unable to commit. But also, all my clothes are way too big, huge. I hadn't realized just how many bigs they were too many. So while I was in the salon, I stood up from the hair washing basin thing and I looked like I was wearing a three-man tent, honestly. I had not realised just how huge my clothes had be, had be. Well, my clothes haven't got any bigger, obviously, I've got smaller. But I can gather, like, handfuls of denim in my jeans, which, you know, is, is interesting. And, um... So later today, I have to go and buy some more clothes because... Uh, my wardrobe just needs lots of new things, which is nice, but shopping. Yay, so shopping's always good. Let's see. Oh, yes, so today I am doing glutes, a glute workout today, and I've got my GoPro. What I'm going to try and do now is record little bits of the session. It'll be heavily edited. Nobody wants to see this in the gym. Right, so I'm nearly at the gym. I have, I've been really thrown off my conversation by almost crashing into my friend Nicola who was trying to overtake me on roundabout for some reason. So I will speak to you all in the gym in the moment after I've parked and hopefully haven't died and crashed and caught on fire. Bye. Starting off with some glute activation. Well, there we are. Oh, sweaty bum workout. Oh, it's so 
a good day for heated seats. It's cold. It's fresh. Red Bull. That's boogie. So that was my first pure glute workout for a while, as it happens. And it was alright. I'm still not fully back into the weightlifting exercises. Just because of energy, because my calorie intake is so low, my body is busy burning fat and losing weight. And it doesn't leave an awful lot of energy in my calorie reserves for weightlifting, unfortunately. I could increase my calorie intake, although that's hard because it makes me feel ill if I eat too much, to give me enough fuel for weight training, which would probably not impact the weight loss and it would help long term for the strength. But it's hard. It's really hard to eat enough food to, you know, to do that. So I'm just gonna, I'm just sticking to really low weights for at least six months or so. Got a new coach, as I said. She may change all that. We'll see. And she's a, I believe she's a judge as well. She judges bodybuilding contests. So if anybody knows her onions in bodybuilding terms, she's gonna know her onions and probably her apples and pears too. And it's always handy to know somebody that's familiar with fresh garden produce. I had a few little dizzy moments on that workout, I'm not gonna, not gonna lie. I think it's because I'm fasted and I barely ate 600 calories yesterday. So I'm probably a little bit depleted. I feel good though. I had a nice 650 calorie burn from my cardio workouts at the moment. I think I can, the less peaky, I can stabilize the energy that I'm using. So for a couple of people commenting about how I learn to do, you know, exercise. But, and honestly, you don't have to, much, much as I highly recommend having a personal trainer, and I've got on about this a lot, it can be a double-edged sword. If your personal trainer finishes training or, you know, you and you become dependent on them, that can really hit you in the, you know, you can really feel that's a blow and that can knock you back. So I think while I still highly recommend having personal training and as I said, I've got, I'm starting with a new trainer on Tuesday. I think you should still read up and, you know, find some routines. And that's a technique. The, the main thing I, I find with coaching, there's two things I find with coaching. <laughs> uh, one, somebody to spot your technique and make sure you're doing it correctly. And you really can injure yourself uh, and pull a muscle if you do things wrong. Even even with something the size of a can of coke, I've done that before. And also you have someone to shout at you, to just shout abuse at you and make you sweat. And that's invaluable, you know, somebody that pushes you to the, to the edge. So I, I really recommend coaching, you know, and a, a training partner, sometimes a training partner, if they're not as engaged as you are, can actually be quite detrimental. So here we are back home after a booty workout. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a great day and, and your journeys are coming along too. Please like and subscribe, comment and everything. I love getting your feedback. It's so, I don't know. It's something about doing all this in front of an audience that keeps you honest, you know? So thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your comments. And I shall see you all next time. I won't see you unless you have your own. Oh, that reminds me, my friend Alexis has just started her video blog. Go and watch it. I'll, send, I'll put a link below. So um, it's really good. She's really self-conscious and uh, turns out she looks amazing and sounds amazing. So good times. Thank you all. You will see me next time. Comment below.